Also tonight, one of nature's spectacles will soon be on display in several states, including Ohio. The largest group of cicadas, known as Brood 10, will be emerging after spending 17 years underground. These large, loud, obnoxious insects will be flying and crawling around by the millions. Oh, photojournalist Carl Bachtel spoke with one of the leading authorities on cicadas in the state of Ohio about these bugs of history. Soon. Cicada brood 10 will emerge from the ground after 17 years. It was first observed in 1715 in Philadelphia. Dr. Gene Kritzky is a biology professor at Mount St. Joseph's University in Cincinnati. He's one of the top cicada researchers in Ohio. There will be annual cicadas everywhere, but if you want to see brood 10, head southwest. On the west side of Cincinnati, in, in uh, with the little area called Delhi, for example, had 356 cicadas emerge over a one square yard. Dr. Kritzky calls these black-headed, red-eyed beauties bugs of history. Just ask President Theodore Roosevelt. And in 1902, Brood 10 emerged in Washington, D.C., and he gave an address at Arlington Cemetery. The cicadas almost outsang him. Brood 10 can inspire. In uh, the year 1970, uh, Bob Dylan was given an honorary degree at Princeton University. And while he's there, the cicadas are screaming in the background. And he goes home and writes a song. The locust sang for me. Brood 10, romantic? There's nothing more romantic than a cicada wedding because nobody celebrates their 17th wedding anniversary with the same panache and zeal. Researchers are getting citizen scientists to help them using the free Cicada Safari app for your smartphone. It'll help them map Brood 10. We're, we're all trying to do this group effort to really see what's going on. In Cleveland, Carl Bachtel, 3 News.